Some ifs are a powerful formula in Excel used to summarize and understand your data set. We're gonna walk through how to use them in three examples in less than three minutes. Let's start with the component pieces of a sum ifs to make sure we understand how it works. So number one, you have the sum range. This is the range of what you want to sum. This will be a numeric value that you are looking to summarize. Next is the criteria range, which is typically a parallel array to your sum range that you are checking to make sure you want to include it in your sum. Third, you have your criteria. This is the criteria your range must equal. Let's look at an example to make sure we understand how this works. Number one, your sum range. This will be your revenue. It is the numeric value you want the sum of. Next, your criteria range. In this example, it is fruits. And then third, the criteria. We want apples, leaving us with an answer of 50. As in our table, there are $50 worth of revenue associated with apples. Let's look at a few examples of how to write a sum ifs effectively. So in our first example, we're gonna look at the fruit category. So sum ifs of our sum range, which is revenue, our criteria range one will be our fruit category, and then our criteria will be apples. I can either refer to that with apples in quotation marks, or I can just refer to another cell, and I can just link this to apples, both work. For our year, I will do sum ifs, of our revenue our criteria range one will be our year column and then our criteria one will be 2020 or referencing the cell either one is acceptable if we want to use multiple criteria we can use a sum ifs on our revenue range our criteria range one will be our fruit category our criteria one will be apples our criteria range two will be our year and then our criteria two will be 2020, giving us the sum of apples in 2020. If we want to use the sum ifs in a table, we'll need to use the right combination of absolute and relative references. If I write a sum ifs on my sum range, which will still be my revenue, locked in its columns and rows, my criteria range one will be my fruit category, locked in its columns and rows, and then my criteria one will be my fruit category in my lookup table locked in its column but flexible in its rows. My criteria range two will be my year locked in its columns and rows and then my criteria two will be my year locked in its row but flexible in its columns. If I copy that across my table, now I have an easily summarized view of my fruit categories and my years.